Hi, I'm Michael. This is the Dr. Zhao Lab here at the Institute for Genomic Biology, and I'm here to show you guys around the lab and also to show you a few wet lab experiments. So over here, in this direction, we have where all the computer work and the data processing takes place. Down all these aisles, we have all the benches where all the wet lab work takes place. And so people generally spend about half and half their time, both over here doing the data processing and also here doing wet lab experiments. Here in the JL lab, we work on genetic engineering, synthetic biology, metabolic engineering. We actually cover, cover a huge range of different biological engineering uh, sub-disciplines. And so I am particularly working on a metabolic engineering project. So over here we have our gel station where we run gel electrophoresis. I've just loaded a gel and I'm currently running it. And basically what we're doing is we're separating out DNA of different sizes. This will help us verify whether or not we've constructed one of our vectors correctly. And so in 17 minutes, we'll be able to take that gel and go view it on the gel dock in the room next door and we'll be able to verify whether or not our experiments succeeded or not. Prior to running the gel, we attempted to construct a plasmid, and now we are PCRing out an amplicon that should be approximately 700 to 800 base pairs long if the construct is correct. And we look in the first lane here and we see a band that is that long. So we're pretty confident that our construct is correct. In this second lane, we see a band that is approximately 300 base pairs long. That is our negative control, just to verify that the reaction took place correctly. Now that we know we have the correct plasmid, we can use this plasmid for future experimentation. So in this room here, we have two biosafety hoods, and we also have five incubators that are responsible for growing up all of our microbes that we experiment on. This is where a lot of the cell work actually takes place for people working on yeasts and bacteria and in the room adjacent to this people work on mammalian cell cultures. Now I'm going to show you guys what just an E. coli culture looks like here in just one second. I'm with Mason over here at the iBioFab and he's going to tell us a little bit about a protocol that he's been working on today. Hey guys, uh, I'm Mason. So today I'm going to show uh, a simple uh, protocol of transfer a plate to some of our equipment inside the eyeball fab and uh, do a simple liquid handling transfer. Here in this image, we've stained the mitochondria in Saccharomyces cerevisiae with a stain called Mitotracker Orange. That's why you see the orange color. And right here, you can see one of the buds coming off of, so the daughter cell coming off of the parent cell. Um, and basically, what we're trying to do is actually track localization sequences to the mitochondria. Thanks for visiting the JAL Lab here at IGB. I hope you guys got to enjoy the virtual tour, seeing what we do here at the lab, and we hope to see you guys next fall. Thanks.